Since the fall of Saddam Hussein, more journalists have died in Iraq than anywhere else in the world. An estimated 225 media workers have been killed over the last six years. To this day, Iraqi journalists have to take enormous risks to get the news. In the early days of the war, Iraqi journalists often talked about their newfound freedom to report without restrictions, something they could never do under Saddam Hussein. But six years since the dictator fell, many in Iraq fear that freedom of expression is being muzzled once again. According to the Iraqi Association for the Protection of Journalists' Rights, there has been an increase in lawsuits against journalists. Those who try to report on issues like corruption or security face particular pressure from the government. Ibrahim al-Saraji, the head of the association, said, quote, The government does not want journalists to do their jobs, and they stop them in many ways. Only pro-government journalists are allowed access to certain events, and only pro-government newspapers get commercial advertising, what makes it impossible for others to survive. Last month, Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki and President Jalal Talabani announced that they agreed on a, quote, need to end the hostile attitude of the media towards the political process in Iraq. Many in Iraq find this statement deeply alarming. For Iraqi journalists, Iraq remains an extremely dangerous place. But now, in addition to daily physical dangers, many of them feel that they are also being censored.